Well, here's a twist. The black man at the center of the Central Park Karen story is not cooperating with the DA. So let me take you back and tell you the story. Christian Cooper was out bird watching. Remember this in Central Park when a white woman named Amy Cooper tried to call the cops on him. She claimed he was attacking her. Christian said he's not cooperating because Amy Cooper has already suffered enough after she lost her job and was publicly shamed. Amy Cooper is now charged with filing a false police report. Lindsay, I gotta be honest, good for Chris Cooper for being so th forgiving. I wouldn't be. She called and said, the black man's trying to hurt me. I mean, she wanted the police to come out there and do something. And I don't think she was okay having other people lose their jobs before too. So what do you take on this? Listen, to be uh, fully, or, or to give full disclosure, Chris Cooper is my friend's uh, cousin. Got it. So, you know, it's not that he, it's not that he is trying to in any way say that this is not a big deal. He's just saying that she has been punished to his furthest extent that he cares to keep following this up. You know, he has a whole life outside of sure. this that is not dependent on Amy Cooper and wants to really move on. And that's his main motive. But I think for me, the fact that she's weaponizing the police, you know, even though in this instance nothing happened, the police never particularly came and said anything to uh, Mr. Cooper that affected his life in any way really dramatically. In this case, sometimes people get the cops called on them and they are harmed and even die. So because he doesn't want to follow through, I think the police have a job to follow yeah. through and make sure that Amy Cooper and people like her have a deterrent to not do things like this again. Yeah, I think this needs to be a, a law that if you do this, you waste people's time, our taxpayers' money, and you absolutely put people in danger. Jeff, do you have a quick button on that? Just not, well, not a button, but <laughs> what, her, let's use this as an example, okay? I'm not picking sides in this story. I'm using this as an example to discuss things. When is, when is enough enough? She's gonna lose her job, she's shamed on social media, it's gonna take her a while to get back into society, right. right? Everyone knows who she is now. When is enough enough and when does it become a teaching lesson? Maybe she's never known a black person, maybe she's terrified of black people, that's why she did that. Now she's like, what was I thinking all these years? What was my family thinking? Again, this is an example, I don't know if she thinks like that or not. I'm just I saying, hear you. When, when, when do we draw the line? Could she work again? If she works for UPS, is, she, is UPS now saying you can't work for us because you had this in your past. Look, I think when, you, do, when does it stop? I That's, think it stops. And again, I'm using this as an example. Right, again, I think it stops when you, or begins when you cross a line in terms of legality, right? I love the law. The law is important here. She did something called obstruction of justice. She wasted police time, and that is against the law. And Cuomo wants to make it the Amy Cooper law to make it actually more legislative. So I think once you cross a line and you break the law, you gotta have consequences Okay, so say, so go to jail. Right. Serve two years in jail. Then when she comes out of jail, is she back to society is she okay is like she served her time she certainly is welcome to do but hey, is that the truth well what if if you're a company are you going to hire her well if i was chris cooper what if something had happened in the police no, come I, to me? again this is just an example I i'm not you're, you're getting way too specific i'm just using an example yeah. when do you come back from that when does she get a chance to redeem herself when does she say i've never met anybody like this in my life and i was way out of line and i need to well, spend it, more time with black people or people of well, different culture this is and the i thing, don't yeah sorry this is Lindsay. why i want to jump in because jeff Jeff, she, she ran a company, or she was very high up at a company, so she w interacted with people of color, and that's why it's problematic, because if she stayed in these leadership roles, she's not only affecting life in the public parks, but also at a job, somebody who determines whether someone moves up in a company, and things like that are very detrimental on microaggressive levels that hold black people back. And so, you know, not saying that she can't get another job, but people have to look into the way that you interact with people of color, because that really is stifles people in many ways. I, and Lindsay, I totally agree with you, and again, I didn't want to get specific on this case because I agree 100% with what happened. I'm just using this as a generalization to when do you come back to society? We're in this call out culture and everyone's pulling, you know, quote unquote statues down. When personally does a person be able to get back on their when feet learn, and not look backwards? When they've learned their lesson. Apparently she's allegedly right, this is, done this before. Again, I know not we're her. being very specific. I, know, I don't want to be specific. I'm saying for people in the past. Agreed. But if you are racist in some ways and you get canceled, that's your fault. For how long? until you can prove you're not racist. I don't want to I don't want a bigot running a country uh, right. company. I was going somewhere else so you guys made it very specific. I was talking about myself in oh. this case, but <laughs> I didn't yes, go, I yes. didn't pick that. So up. I agree great conversation and Lindsay, I hope you didn't take it the wrong way. I was totally being general. No, I didn't general. at all. Yeah. I like the conversation. Me I appreciate too. it.